to the shack. Stay happy and creative. My name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Welcome to another hour of doodling and getting together and chatting. So is anybody in the building with me? Uh, I know that our dear friend Paul Church is certainly there to keep you company. If you have any questions, I hope the sound is agreeable and not too, not too loud. If it is, I'll just talk slower. Oh, we've got pings. Sound nice and clear. Good. Okay, so let's see if anybody else is there. Have you got your cup of tea? Good morning, Carol. First to the party, Nahid, nice to have your company. Come on in. I'm a bit tired today. Thank you so much for joining us. If you did join me yesterday on Create and Craft in the afternoon, it was uh, those japonicas and Scots pies were certainly a nice welcome addition to that floral set. Actually, they were shack. They were shack designs, weren't they? The original ones. Good morning, Ken. Happy birthday for yesterday, Ken. Woo hoo! Ken shares his birthday, right? I'm allowed to say, aren't I? With his wife and his son. I know. I bet you ate a lot of cake, didn't you, man? Mm -mm -mm. And it was a big one. The cake. I mean, no, your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't say how old you are because you don't look a day over 30, Ken. I'm looking forward to seeing you and lots of other friends at the open days on Friday. It's going to be good. We've got loads of people coming now. Not so many on the Saturday, but you never know. They might turn up in the afternoon, having been somewhere else. Not saying. Yeah, but there you go. They can always pop in on, at the door, can't they? They can come in to us afterwards if they fancy having a having a nose, having a, a little bit of entertainment from our clarity team. We got the make and takes. Now those japonicas yesterday that I was um, showcasing, which sold very well, but I'm guessing that lots of you are coming to the open days for those. Uh, the, uh, the japonicas are actually, if you didn't catch it yesterday on telly, we we design, I drew them. We use the we with the royal we drew them um, to use in the make and takes. Sonia and Tina Morris are doing a make and take. Sonia Goodliffe and Tina Morris are doing a stamping make and take. And we decided it'd be nice since it's a special 30th anniversary celebration and all that. If we had some new stamps to do in the make and takes, so that's where the idea was born for those two extra sets. We're just using the japonicas of the make and take. My suggestion is if you are coming to the open days and you want to take part, sign up for them first thing in the morning. Yeah, there's a fiver, I think, something like that. It's not bad. It just, um, it covers the costs. There you go. So other than that, what can I tell you? Yeah, um, we're going to get started. I, I was thinking about what we did in the shack last time because you really enjoyed the butterflies and flowers thing, didn't you? And I was thinking about it and I thought, I know, I'm not done with that yet. There's, there's still a lot more we can do around those rounds. So I thought, yeah, I've got a better idea than that. Rather than do another one, we will do another one, but I was thinking, let's finish the one we're doing. Project completion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm tired today though. Catches up with you. Friday night, moment of clarity. Sunday, long days on Sundays because we're two and a half hours from the studio. Paul, bless him, he drives me there, brings me home, keeps me, keeps me going, <laughs> watered and fed. <laughs> and now here we are again, Paul. What do you say to that? Um, uh, what's the time? Is it 10 o'clock yet? Yes, it is. I think maybe there won't be so many of us today. You know, the thing about it is, what we've got here, turn off, turn off, leave on, turn off notification. I'm going to turn off those notifications. Trouble is, you start pressing buttons and suddenly, boom, <laughs> it's all dark. Okay, so what was I saying? Yeah, I think, you know, the shack. 83 people is a lot of people, Paul. 101 people I've got on my screen because, you see, if you had 101 people walking through the door, that would be a lot of kettles to boil, wouldn't it, for a cup of tea? Yeah. The magic of the internet. This is one of the good things about the internet, that we can get together. 
So should we get started and let our friends find us? So let's have a look at where we were because we doodled this one. Let's have a look at it. There. Do you remember? We doodled this on tracing paper, didn't we? Did the butterfly, did the flowers, did the round. And now I was thinking, actually, this would look really nice. We did it on tracing paper. This is the one we did together. This is the one I did originally, where the flower was going off at a bit of a wonky angle. But it'll do for what I want to show you today for certain, because I'm going back to the tracing paper. Um, let me explain. I thought it would be nice if we added a floral frame to our work, but we separate it. You know, like when we were doing the vases, we sep we split the layers. Do you remember? So that the 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 vase was separate to the outline, to the pattern. To, you know. So the same thing now. Let's let me humor me. While I'm waffling, I want you to do me a favor because you're going to need. If you're doodling along with me, do you remember we did downloads? If I show it to you, do you remember this download? Right, here we go. This is the one you need. And you will find it on our website under Shack, okay? And you'll see that it's, uh, it's under Downloads. So if you go to the Shack section on the front page, right, then you go to Downloads, and it's the Mandala template. The Mandalas we did back in 2020, near the beginning. We actually started the mandalas on the 30th of September. If you wanted to look them up, they were pretty spectacular. Um, the mandalas were done on the 30th of September, 2020. That's when the download appeared. And there was another download as well, that one. That's pretty clever, okay. Paul says he's put a link up for the download for you. Fabulous. Right, do you remember? Maybe you've got yours in your shack folder. Maybe, maybe you have a fold, maybe you don't. I, I found mine in my shack folder. With I found it with a load of other ones in my shack folder with my other downloads because I've got, I've got, um, the, these are good as well, um, baubles. Worth knowing, these are free and they are available. And while you're on that page, on the down, on the, um, while you're on that page, finding your download on the website, if you're going to do that, um, have a look also, if you scroll down, it's really worth signing up for our newsletter because the newsletter sends you emails. That's where we, you give us your email address and we send you emails. And the emails, we don't bombard you, but we do tell you when we're going to be on telly, what's on offer, when something special comes up. You don't get an email from us every day. Stuart's very mindful of that, maybe three times a week, something like that you know, um, but it's well worth signing up to the newsletter, okay, and uh, and what you'll do is, as you scroll down the page, you'll see it says free postage on all orders over £30, and then straight below that, Jim put it right there, it says newsletter, click that, sign up, perfect, okay, yes, I've got a shack folder, boom, all right, so I've waffled enough so that you've had time to find your, your folder, and I think it would be a good idea if I show you where we're headed. When I was doing it, I did it all on one layer just because I was in the creative mode rather than the process mode. Right, you ready? So I'll show you what I did and then you'll understand the thinking behind it. So you can see here, if we get him close, it's a bit of a rough job. I only did it about half an hour ago, girls and boys, right? But there's what we drew originally which is just to single it out that, right? That's where we left off. And I thought, cool, I'd really like to put a frame around this. So I drew a frame. And then of course, because we'd drawn around that to start with, that kind of posed the challenge of, well, how do we draw bigger rings? Well, and then them are thinking, went, oh, I know we've got a download. So that's how that turned up. Then I used that. Then I thought, oh, do you know what? It'd be easier. As I was, I was already halfway around, I thought, hmm, I wish I'd done this on a different layer. <laughs> so that's how it goes. And I thought, but oh, that's okay. I'm the bus driver. I've done a recce deliberately because now, rewind, 
back to when you all get on the bus. Mm -hmm. And now I know what we're doing and where we're going. There you go. It'll be lovely. And what we're going to do is make a little floral frame, which is handy for lots of other things too, interchangeable. So when we do another center, we can interchange. But we're going to make the floral frame um, to match this flowers and butterflies design. You see? So we'll pluck the flowers out of this one. Oh, I'm thinking ahead here. And we'll make a beautiful frame of it. Okay. Simple. You got to kind of have a heart today because I'm tired. I really am. I feel, <clears throat> I feel like I've been working all weekend. <laughs> Tell you what, though, if the neighbour had been looking out of their window at six o'clock this morning, they'd have said, I don't know what she's on apart from on holiday. I was skipping through the garden in my dressing gown with Dave right behind with our cups of tea <laughs> to the garage. Seriously. <laughs> because the kiln had cooled down and my big boatload, my big haul, had been bisque fired. But yesterday while I was at telly, it had cooled down enough. So this was the, this was the million dollar Right. This is where we decide whether we are we've got enough stock to actually have a table full at the open days or not. And so there we were skipping through the garden at six o'clock in the morning in the dressing gown. <laughs> Didn't look too tired then, did you, Barbara? Mm -mm -mm. Neighbour said she's mad. Anyway, perfect. Kiln. Wunderbar. All the vases came out. No cracks, no splits. It worked. So now I feel quite rejuvenated thinking about it, actually. Isn't it funny? At some point between now and this time tomorrow morning, I've got to glaze that lot. So come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> right. Have you got your artwork? Have you got your traced artwork? Have you got that bit? Do you remember we did it on tracing paper? So you should have this bit. This is your template. This is why we say... Do it on tracing paper because you never know when it might come in handy. Have you got it? Got to go and get a tyre sorted. See you later, Jackie. <laughs> right. Okay. So we need this bit. And then what we're going to do, right, ready, take your tracing block. If I pan out a little bit, sorry, I'll pan back in. Otherwise, you can't see what I'm actually up to. Can you? Let's have a look. Where are we? Hey, there you go. Right. So we've got our tracing block. And then what we'll do is we'll put this one back in underneath this one. Okay. One. Put it straight back in where it was so it sits exactly right. We can always move these around. Then this one, obviously, has got to go in underneath that one. So if you put it in over the top, no good. Put it in under the second layer. Fabulous. Right, there you go. So we've got two. So what we need to do, let me show you, let me show you. I think we make a little break. So it's not so, so you're making a little tiny break before you make the next one. Right, border. So we can doodle into the border. We can colour the border in solid, but we need a border of some description. Okay. So let's have a look. If I, we've got two different ones. We've got to find the ring that fits the picture. So I absolutely know, because I checked it, bus driver's been on the bus checking the oil, right? I know that that one there, it's the, on the smaller ring, the one in, that fits that. Well, actually, that's cobbler's. Because it depends how much of your tape you use before you drew around it, doesn't it? Or if you used a mug or a cup. I don't know what you drew around. Anyway, find the ring that sits exactly on your circle. God, it's a chair. I'm going to treat myself. If I sell any pottery, right, I'm going to treat myself to a new stall. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Right, so I've got that. Then what I'm going to do is take my pencil. Right, I need to probably, so that it doesn't shift, 
Let's see. And the circle got smaller. <laughs> do, you, do you, I don't know about you, when I'm really tired, I get giggly. I, I don't know, is that, is that a thing? <laughs> when I'm really, really tired, really, really tired, I get, I get, um, yeah, like silly. <laughs> right, so there you go. So what we want to do, first of all, is make the, trace the line that's this line, right? So we're going to trace the line of the ins, it's the outside of the original picture. Make the artwork come to you, okay? Just get in that group and get the swirl going on there. And around you go, turn the artwork. It's a lot easier if you turn the artwork. Around you go. And ah, uh, yeah, did, didn't you? Right, hold on. Right, back in, relocate. Relocate. It's all right. We're on it. Let's move that out of the way a minute. Just a minute. Around we go, because I've got to go around again in a minute. Right. Mind the butterfly. I mean, we could ignore the butterfly and just go for it. But it feels cruel. Okay, and now we're going around the next one out. Okay, so let's make the band that I was talking about. Okay, here we go again. Turn the artwork. Lean down. And then make a curve. And it's the motorbike syndrome. Keep your eye on the road ahead. Keep your eye on where you're going, not on the tip of the pencil, and you'll find you wobble less and you stay on the road, not to mention on the bike. There you go. Turn again. And then it really works. Just keep your eye. All I'm doing is I'm keeping my eye one, like if I'm there, I'm looking there. If I'm there, I'm looking there. If I'm there, I'm looking there. And I find, honestly, it really works if you if you do that. It's just, and I'll, I'll I'll pan in in a minute when we've got our circles in. There you go. It's really weird. If you look ahead, it works every time. Try it. I'm not kidding. Did you watch Telly yesterday? Did you watch? Did you? Did you? Um, I think a few of you must have been watching, even though the weather was so beautiful, wasn't it? I know my friends wouldn't abandon me. Right, let's have a look. So now we need to put the next border around the outside. So if we turn that round and we'll, you probably don't even need that one now, do you? Of course, it's a bit confusing though, isn't it? Ooh. Okay, so then we need to find the one It's the outside one we're going to use. So we need to make sure that this one, let's have a look. I'm looking at the outside edge. That's okay, because it's the halfway. If I do that, I, I only get a little bit, don't I? I only get a little bit, but I get enough hmm, of a border. Let's have a look. How much of a border do I get there? This is too busy for my eyes. Let me put that back in so I can see better. So I've got that one in there. Get that back in. All right, I've got that border there. I've got that. Now I've got to put the outside edge in. So if I go there like that. That'll do. Okay. So now I'm going on around the outside, around the outside one. Ideally, it'd be one bigger, but that'll have to do today. That'll do. Are you any good at going a little bit bigger? Like, should we challenge ourselves? Right, okay. So now I'm going a little bit out further to make this border a bit bigger. You could give it a go, couldn't you? We'll find something bigger to draw it. Now, come on, come on, Greg, you can do it. Right, that's it there. Out we go. 
This is called concentration. So I've gone out one further. Ah, oh, come on, we're doodlers, we can do this. Right, stay like that. So now, yeah, it's not that hard. Come on. If you learn to drive, you can, <laughs> you can do this. Right, ready? Outside, so we've given it another. Otherwise our border won't be worth the effort. There we are. Bit bigger. So you can decide how thick you want it to be, can't you? How deep. Sorry if I'm not speaking much, but I'm concentrating on the road ahead. Are you doing this with me? Or are you going to run to found a plate? <laughs> yeah, well, I would too if I were in the kitchen. I was going to find one of my little potter, potter, pottery plate. Oh, that went a bit wrong there, Barbara. It's all right. Never perfect, always original. <laughs> all right, there you go. And lo, they met. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm enjoying myself anyway. <laughs> Monday morning. Couldn't think of a better thing to do than hang out with a bunch of friends and draw circles on a Monday morning. <laughs> okay, we're on. So now what we've got is that. Agreed? Yes. That's quite good. It's a little bit bigger than, gives us something to get our teeth into. That's what we're saying, isn't it? Okay, that'll do. Now, the next thing is we want to fill it. We want to fill the, this bit here. So what we're looking at now is this flower. Let me come in tight because I'm going to show you. I'm also going to show you, shall I show you the one I've already done so that you get it? Right, let's have a look. There, isn't that pretty? See, you've got to see where we're headed. I think sometimes it helps. So what I've done is I've taken these flowers here and I've put them around the outside, coming in from that side, coming in from that side, see? And I've made the border a little tiny bit wider for us. So we've got a bit more room for play. And then we can compare. On this one, I know, that I went straight, I went with the um, thingy. The, the sh Where's it gone now? I went with the, um, the template. Here it is on the back. I know I did. Look, see, I drew right, I went in there. So you only had that much. So I thought it'd be nicer. Let's try it, because the bus driver says. Let's try it a little bit wider. Not that much, look, if I lay that on there, like that, look, it's not much more, see? Okay, right, so what we're gonna do now, I think though, we need our flowers in here so that we can see where we're going. And also, don't, don't worry. Don't, um, so it's, 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 it's tracing paper, no pressure. This is just an idea. But let's look at this flower and let's just start. Let's just get going, right? So we're gonna make a triangle. That's gonna be our starting point off here. And then we're gonna have, say, um, we've got four petals. So we, I'm gonna make four, well, you could do, oh, I made five petals on all of those. Right, so you're gonna go one, two, three, four, you could make, Four petals, five petals, don't overthink it. There you go. Right, four petals or five petals. But smaller, they're smaller than this. So let's do a couple more, right, little ones. Uh, from that side and from that side. Let's go again. So we'll go one, two, three, four, yeah? If you do five petals, it really, I've did five petals on every single one this morning. I did. <laughs> right, ready? One, two, three, I'm going to do five. Got it. That'll do. Random, random, any way you like. Bring them in at an angle, make them smaller. One, 
two, three, four. They just look like that somewhere, right? I'm using an HB pencil. Yeah. Soft, bog standard. The little triangle is just a nice base to start. There you go. One, two, three. That's that. We don't need the triangle. Let's let's come straight in off the, the base. One, two, three, four. Oh, I wish I'd done a triangle now. That'll do. <laughs> Keep going. Ken is watching and eating leftover birthday cake. Are you, Ken? Are you now? Well, save some for me. There you go. That'll do. Let's do one over here as well. One, two, three, four, five. Another one in this way. It's a little bit symmetrical, but that's okay. Make them a bit taller now. Different one. There you are. Doesn't look like anything until you put all the twirls in. You could do a couple of buds as well, but let's get these in first. So what we're doing now is we're making a frame that, that kind of connects with, with the center, aren't we? I was talking to Janice about this on the telly yesterday. Because um, I said, isn't it funny how you always like the one you did first, <laughs> you know? And then when you go and do it again for best, it never works as well. She feels like that as well. But this is good. Have you got that done yet? Come on, that's a piece of cake. Yeah. It's not going to win any prizes, this one, is it? <laughs> but there you go. We're now experts, aren't we? Just having a little doodle. Okay, so there's your, you can see them. They're here, no different. Now comes the swirls, okay? Let's have a look at the swirls. Okay. You can put a couple of buds in. we do that afterwards. Right, you ready? So let's have a look where the swirls are. Have we got any? Right, I'm going to bring a swirl in like that. There you go. Here we go. So I bring it round and I've carried it through this one, just because. It gives me a starting place. So there's my starter for 10. Right, now I can... I can come through there. Let's have a look. I could go up there. I could come round here. Right, so this one's going to go like that. And then this one, I'm going to bring it through the flower. Why not? There's plenty of room. Like so. So they're not all the same. There, that one's going like that. That would be nice. And then this one's going to be a great big one. Boom, like that. I think this one would be nice coming through like that. And I might put a little bud in that one. There. There you go. Because it looks a little bit sad, that area. Round we go. Is anyone doodling along with me? Or are you just drinking your coffee and watching me rotate again? Hey, eh? Literally rotate. <laughs> so look. I think I might put a little bird in there. Buds have just got three. That's what I've decided. Hmm. We're very lucky, I, I feel, that we've got this group. We're really lucky, you know. I am anyway. I can I can only speak for myself. I feel lucky. Uh, there we go. Little bud. Three little things. Start over here. Let's go around this way and come in this way. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm getting, I'm losing my mojo on that side. Right, there you go. Round you go. That would be nice. That looks pretty. And then this one, I think I'm going to come in. What do I think? I think I'll come in from the base. I'll go up like that, hit that side, and then make a little swirl there like that. So we're connecting a little bit with the edge. Like this. That would be nice. I think we need a bud there. 
Oh, we haven't put the leaves in yet, though, have we? Right, another bud. Here we go. So this one will be nice. Through the flower, like that. We've got one more left to do. So I reckon we're going to go like that, like that, and like that. That's a weirdo. But there you are. It's already looking different, isn't it? Now if you've got, there we are. So now we've done that. What's good is it's off this, it's off this one. So this becomes its own piece of artwork, really. I've put anything in there now. True, true. Okay, let's just sharpen that HB. Now we're putting the leaves in. We're all right with this. Yeah. What we need to do as well is stretch our necks. Okay. So I've got really, this is from days of prepping for the TV, prepping for the moment of clarity, doing the job, prepping for the, my necks going. Funny enough, I was talking to Linda Williams because um, she's got really big problems with her neck and shoulders, but that's from all the design work that she's doing, right? She's she's doing so much work behind the scenes. Don't think for a minute, just because you don't see her on telly or you don't, there's not a lot coming. She's working so hard behind the scenes. And don't think for a second, just because she's not at the open days, that we don't still love each other and adore each other. And she's still my best mate. But she's got really big problems with her neck. And I get it. A lot of it has to do with the job that we do. You know, because you're always heads down looking. And I'm sure that if you do too much, you know it, don't you? I used to have terrible problems with my neck. It's not as bad now, only when I overdo it. Linda's in that place now. She's in spasm. I've been there. And she literally has to stop now for at least a month, two months even. Just stop doing what she's doing to let the neck repair. And then just take it gently. Um, so we spoke about it at the weekend. And I said she's got to sort that out, you know. Um, but she sends her love, you know. She's gutted that she's not going to be at the open days. But again, it's all this. And she's going on holiday. She needs a holiday. Wait till you see she's she's designed for us the most magnificent, magnificent layering, layering plates. So they're they're big, they're A4 square. We're doing a whole series of them on um, on Create and Craft. It's a new and exclusive that's running right through. Do you remember like last year we did the Christmas treasures? Well, this year we're doing this new and exclusive layering plates collection by Linda Williams. Super, superb and um, like stunning. Um, so that's what she's been working on, which is why our neck's gone, because she's been making all the samples. Bless her. I feel bad for her. But they're really going to be something to, um, they're collectibles. They're those ones again, you know. So what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, stretch. Stretch your neck so that you don't end up like Linda and me. <laughs> all you've got to do is look up at the ceiling. I remember years ago, I was at the NEC, I'm sure I told you this, and the doctor, I was in really bad, because I was working such ridiculous, nothing like now, um, 10 times more. And my neck was really bad. And he'd said to me, we had to go to the NEC. He said, my suggestion to you is that you stop work. I said, well, don't work like that. You know, I can't stop work. I've got a business going. I, you know, I can't stop. And... Um, he said, well, then the only other thing is take breaks every 20 minutes and stretch. I said, oh, that I can do. So we were at the NEC and I was doing some work and I had a crowd. And then I thought, oh, my neck was starting to get tight. So I thought, ah. Oh. So I looked up at the ceiling while I was working, just, just for a split, just to change the angle of the neck. And when I looked back down, all the audience were like this, looking at the ceiling of the NEC while I was looking at it. <laughs> she looking at there you go right come on leaves next leaves next and the next break we'll have another break and i'll tell you about actually i can do that while we're, while we're doing this do you remember when i went to buckingham palace with dave and i told you that i met these adorable people from dudley pat and bill jones do you remember and i said that we was, it was when we were outside Buckingham Palace waiting to go in the gates, right? And it was it was a lovely sunny day. We were so lucky. And um, we got talking to this 
elderly couple. Lovely. She looked so beautiful in her blue. Anyway, we got talking. And of course, you know, the question was asked, what do you do? How did you end up here? You know? So I asked her, what do you do? And she said that she filled shoe boxes. Do you remember? For 30 years. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to make a bug there. For 30 years, she's every year she fills a hundred shoe boxes. And um huh, she fills a hundred shoe boxes. I find that quite humbling. To give to people, to give to children that have got nothing. It is a church thing. It, it runs through the church, but she does it at home. And I asked her, I asked the question, well, where do you where do you get what do you put in the boxes? There you go. Because then Bill said, um, and he said, and I and I, I wrap the bo I wrap the boxes with um with Christmas paper, right? And I said, well, wow, what do you, what do you put in the boxes? And she said, oh, all things that children love, you know. She said, uh, cuddly toys, safe, cuddly toys, uh, tennis ball, pencils, card, drawing. They love drawing. So Dave and I looked at each other, like, mm. you know, anything creative, and um. And so we, we got into this conversation and um, and I said, well, we may be able to help you there. I don't know, because then I said to her, well, where do you get your supplies from for your 100 shoe boxes? There's got to be a lot of pencils and pens and cards and colouring things. And she, she looked at me as if I were mad and she said, I buy them. And I thought, you buy them off your pension, out of your pension. That's quite something, right? That, that that touched me. Yeah, she buys them out of a pension. She didn't say it out of a pension, but it was blimmin' obvious. So, so I said, well, I think we might be able to help you there, Pat, because, you know, we've got, we got warehouses full of this stuff. But you, just the, not cuddly toys, but certainly we've got... Then look lovely now. Look, when you start filling it up with leaves, I rest my case, friends. Look, hey, it's coming together now. Yeah, so I said, well, you know, she got all tearful because of the generous offer, as she, she put it. And I said, well, I know a lot of people as well. I happen to know a lot, a large community of knitters and crochet people and felters who make beautiful safe things for children. And I said they would be queuing up to help you fill your shoe boxes if they knew. So I spoke to you about it. Uh, here in the shack, I'm sure, and you said you would start sending or bringing. And, I, and I'm saying, if you're coming to the open days, that would be the perfect way. I know that Coral, I think it was Coral, she, she wrote to me and said, could she bring stuff to the open days? Yes, Coral, please do. If you've got anything that you've knitted or something for children that's safe, or you feel that it would be really appreciated in in a shoebox we're talking about children that have got nothing nothing we've got we we talk about children that use the shoebox pat's telling me this which choked me out they use the shoebox then um to sit on that's their their cushion right so when we say nothing we mean nothing, okay? So yeah, we are very lucky, aren't we? Poof. Yeah. So if you come into the open days, or you you feel you'd like to contribute and help Pat, because we obviously we're gonna we're gonna be sending things to Pat. To help her um, and if you come into the open days I'm not a knitter or a crochet person I can't I'd love to I love it love love it but you know there's only so many hours in a day um, but if you do do soft toys safe they've got to be safe right they've got to have you know for babies for children tiny ones um, but if you've got some things like that that are sitting around or you've made them, or you'd like to make them. 
even if you can't do it now. This is an ongoing thing. Pat and Bill have been doing this for 30 years. That's why they ended up being nominated to go to the palace. Worthy. And I said to her, I said, to, write, to fill a hundred boxes, that's a that's a big task. You must, they must be, I said, you do it in your garage. She said, in the garage, in the living room, in the kitchen, it's a all year round. They have a hundred boxes and they spend all year filling them. Isn't that lovely? I know. So if you want to contribute and you're coming to the open days, what we'll do is we'll, we'll have um, an area, a table, just for those things. We're not going to put a sling them in a box. We'll leave Pat to do that. We'll put the things on, on a table respectfully, okay, so that um, we can see your beautiful work as well. How's that sound? And then we'll box it up lovingly and send it to Pat. There we are. That's my that's my suggestion. Anybody got any better ideas? Okay. Um, so if you're coming, that's great. If you're not coming, then send send a box to Clarity. De uh, Paul will give you the uh, the address, and just put on the box. Um, what can we put? Shoe boxes or Pat and Bill's shoe boxes. And then we know exactly why you've sent us those things. I know that Cherry um, on the uh, in the blog, she said that she had loads of pencils or something from another adventure. Send them in, pa send them in, Cherry. We're waiting. And then I will, then we'll go through the warehouse and we'll sort out our end. Okay. We will do that. Okay. So now we've done our border. Look, see. So. We've made our picture and now we've done our border. So we take that away. What a nice frame that is too, isn't it? Now we could take this because it's on tracing paper, right? And we can add that to our other picture. I've got a couple on the go here. Let me just take this away from there, right? It's nice, isn't it? Right, there you go. Would make some fantastic, wouldn't that make a stencil? There you go. Do that like that. Turn that round. And now we need to transfer. It's good enough, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Where's the one that I coloured in? I started colouring in. Here it is. And I started colouring in, see? So that was the one we did together. So that's that. There you go. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to stick to the one that we're working on together. There we go. That'll work. So there's your, there's your frame. Wish. Or just. <laughs> Is that one in a better position on the. Yeah, that one's better. I might have to use this one. The other one's nearly off the page. That's what happens when you. Add. This is like Mrs. Armitage's bicycle. What this circle needs is a frame. And what this frame needs is a bell. <laughs> so it goes on. Right, let's use a bit of low-tap masking tape. Let me have a think for a minute what I'm doing. Because I need to transfer it, don't I? So what side did I actually draw it on? That's the side I drew it on. And now I'm going to transfer it. So that's the side the lead is on. I'll flip it over and then I'm going to set it down so it's easiest to position it. You could do this. Look, do that like that and then do the same on the other side. Just a bit of low tap masking tape. So you do that like that and you do that like that. That way it's not going to move while we're working like it did before. This is the side led on that side. Turn it over and let's see. So we'll push that into place. That'll do. Okay. Are we enjoying this? Mm -hmm. Now let's see. Do I want to use? Do I want to use an HB pencil or do I want to use a bit sharper one, um, harder pencil? I could use an if I had an H. If I had an H. There you go. 
I'm going to use a hard pencil to transfer it. So you get a sharper image, don't you? Let's see if we can do that. Should work. Right, so the first thing I want to do is put the line down. I won't worry about the centre line because I've already got one. Let's go around this one and let's see if this works now. Turning. So if now we're going to transfer the image. Oy, just a bit. Transfer the image to the card and then ink and then we can colour it. And this, if we did it nice, if we do it right, we can make it look like raw tyre. See, that would look beautiful. When we were at the v and &A, there's, a, there's, a, there's an area in the v and &A of iron, raw iron, very ornate iron. There's another, it's in the British Museum as well, there's another one. Fantastic. Let me just check that it's working. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Right. We've done that. Hard pencils, H for hard is good. And now what I'll do is I'll go around the outside as well to keep our freehand eye in. There we go. When you stop, stop at an image, especially when you're inking, when you're using ink. Don't stop in the middle of a, a run. Stop where there's a, a, a logical stop. You know, like and something interrupts in the line. So that way, when you start again, it won't show so much. It's obvious, really. Good lord. I'm no expert. I just, I learn by my mistakes. And I learn by doing a lot, don't I? I really do. <laughs> right, see that that worked? Yeah. So we've got both lines going. And now for the fill. Mm -hmm. It was fill. Here we go. And now we can go again. We can transfer our pencil lines. So the only thing with this is, of course, it's like what have you done and what haven't you done? You know? But it's such a simple design that you can actually you can work it out as you go along. What I'm doing here though is starting here. And just work him away round. I think it's easier to do that than do all them and then hope that I've hit them all, if you see what I mean. It's just a suggestion that you actually go around the whole thing and, um, and just work your way around systematically. It's quite relaxing, really. Mm -hmm. So what else have we got going on this week? Well, tomorrow it's Paul, Groovy Tuesday, 10 o'clock. Oh, probably. And then um, on Thursday, well, on Thursday, you can think of us because we'll be setting up the open days and we'll be rotating. And it will be like, who's got the cloth? <laughs> I know Jilly's been working on the art boards for weeks. Um, I've got to go to the cash and carry, but that's Thursday because I'm in charge of the food. <laughs> so I've got to go to get all the food at the cash and carry. I'm hoping that I can talk Jilly into coming with me. <laughs> so I've got to get the bread and sandwich fill and coffee and decaf and gluten free and all that jazz. So that's my job. In the meantime, the guys are loading the van and they're going to be setting up the open days. It is a big job, I can tell you. So um, so several of the lads, Dave, I think Tom, Pete, he's the accountant. Tom's in charge of all trade accounts. So this is, the, these, this is when the guys come out of the offices. Mind you, Tom, the unsung hero, I have to tell you, um, Tom... He who has been with me longer than anybody, he's been with me longer than anybody apart from Dave and the kids. Um, he, he is also the man who quietly prepares for weeks all the stock 
for the groovy and stamps and stencils. He's the guy that loads all the stock. Um, it's a one man job and it takes many weeks. So that's what he's been preparing. So he'll be helping set up. It's a big operation, I can tell you that. Um, and while we're doing that, and all the design team are wending their merry way down from up north, like Manchester. We've got Jane coming in from Manchester. We've got Sam coming in from uh, the northeast. Um, Tina Cox, she's already down here visiting her mum. She's she she's come down from Scotland, but she's 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 visiting her, her mum in in Kent at the same time, so she's already down there. So you know, it's a, it's a lot of effort, a lot of work goes into this, and um, and while we're doing that, Tina Cox, she's on telly, so she's doing the Pergamano show, <laughs> sorting that out. She's she's got some fantastic. So um, she's designed some beautiful um, Christmas parchlets, but they're the they're needlework ones, the embroidery parchlets that she does, and she's she's designed a set of just exquisite Christmas parchlets, but they're for embroidery. For those of you who love that. They've been in the pipeline for a long time, but, and here we go, because we ran out of the one needle fine, which we launched last week, you cannot do embroidery parchlets. You can't do the embroidery without the one needle fine. So there was no way that we could launch the one needle, the embroidery parchlets that Tina designed months ago without the one needle tool. See what I mean? It is there's a knock-on effect. You think, well, how can well there's no point. You, you know, a, a product is only as good as all its components, and the embroidery parts don't work without the one needle tool. So one needle tool came back in the building and vroom, we're in production. Um, so that's what she's doing at, on Thursday while I'm at the cash and carry <laughs> with Jilly. So Jilly doesn't know yet. Though. Um Tina's up in Peterborough launching her beautiful Christmas parchments on TV at a great price. And then she's coming straight from there down to us because guess what she's demonstrating? <laughs> Are the open days? Yay! <laughs> yeah. But we thought we'd launch them on TV first because not everybody can come to the open days, can they? And the TV has a fantastic way of broadcasting. It's amazing. And so, um, so she's going to be coming down to Ditton, directly from Peterborough. And um, it'd be good to see her too. There you go. All action. Nearly there. This is going to be really pretty, and it will completely come. Con it will completely transform what we did in the middle. And I think you'll agree with me. I think it was a good idea to put it on a separate layer, because even though the the content, the flowers, they are they go together, don't they? They only go together because they are together. You can split them apart. You can use this with a completely different, as a completely different frame for something completely different. But at least this gave us the idea for the design, didn't it? Anyway, watch this space, I say. Because I think this, there was there be mileage in this. <laughs> There. I think I've gone all the way around. Let's have a look. I put it like that. I hold it before I do this so that I can re. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. 
Okay. It's so pretty. I reckon that's lovely. Look at that. Isn't that nice? There you go. And then, when we've done that, what do we think? Very nice frame, that is. Very, very nice frame, Barbara. Even if I say so myself. Right, then, what we can do is use that separately. And, do you know, I've still got to empty all the boxes from the TV yet. Oh, now I've got that glazing to do. Oh, it's never a dull moment. There we are. So, isn't that pretty? And now I've done that. Now we can ink this up, can't we? Keller at heel. Five to 11 already. What is this, people? How time flies when you're in gross. Right, I'm back to the neck. Okay. Oh, cool. Look at the cobweb up there. Oh, yeah, they're still moving. <laughs> It's not a great expectation. I'll be sitting there in my wedding dress. Oh, look at the cobwebs when the light hits it. Ah, oh, lovely. Cozy. <laughs> right, so homework. What about if by next week, could you do this if you felt inclined? How do you feel about taking one of these pens, one of these little fellas, I would say you want the one, okay? The one, the one that we, the number one is the same one as we used for the inside of this. Let me just check it. Yeah, that's it. And then we'll use the one to go round here and we can ink that up, can't we? Okay. Do you fancy doing that? So then next week when we get together, We'll link that up and we'll have a look at it. And maybe we could do some really, we could try our hand at um, some good shading. If you've got the, have you got the gray set, the gray pencils, the polychromos, gray pencils. You do, well, I'm not saying you need them. All I'm saying is they're really handy. Okay. Um, there are several great, we've got a set of them. They come like this. They've got gold, silver, and cream, light gray, middle gray, dark gray, warm gray, cold gray, Payne's gray. There's loads of them. There's about 12 of them in a pack. And it, it, they are ideal for shadowing. And so, so what we could do next week, if we ink this up, then we will use, we'll have a lesson. If you fancy it, we'll do a, we'll do a little bit of shading drop shadow stuff so it looks like raw iron do you fancy trying that bit of high light low light bit of woo bit of wah yeah let's do that okay and other than that i gotta go because i've got to sort this kiln out i well i know the kiln is sorted i've got to glaze and repack got to get my priorities sorted out you know also i've got a hospital appointment we'll get that sorted too. everything's fine though but it's important to listen to your body and get your regular checkups friends it. Other than that, I think I've told you everything I want to say. Thank you so much, Paul, for your help. Thank you for joining me. And I really look forward. The parchments are not Christmas. Paul's just told me. And do we know what age the children are for Pat? And all ages, all ages, from babies to 10 year olds, 10, 12 year olds, 10, yeah. All ages, across the board. Okay, There's no limit for their children. Um, the Partridge are not Christmas. Isn't there even one Christmas one in the selection? I don't know. I, I thought they were Christmas. My bad. So they are a wonderful collection of embroidery parchlets. And I don't know if there's a Christmas one or not. I thought there was. Maybe I'm dreaming. Maybe that's the next collection. My bad. Anyway, look forward to that. Uh, what else have I? I haven't forgotten anything else. Ken's, Ken's birthday cake. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, thank you very much for joining me. And all I'm hearing from Paul is the 
Are you going to give me a clue about whether there are any parts? Are there any Christmas ones, Paul? Or are we left guessing? He's left us hanging. No, the previous A5 Square Christmas are also in the show. That's why I saw Christmas. I knew there was Christmas in there somewhere. Her original A5 Square Christmas partlets are also in the show. So that's cool then. So that means that the, the new ones are not Christmas. They're just lovely embroidery partlets. There you go. I stand corrected. Thank you very much. Have a lovely week. If you're coming down to the open days, have safe travels and think of us pedaling away. Uh, lots of love. And don't forget, we have refreshments there and we're even going to get some cold drinks in, get an ice bucket and get some Diet Coke and stuff like that going as well this time. OK, we're hoping that the weather's going to be nice because it's lovely to sit outside in the sun. Anyway, must go. Got things to do. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye now.